Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, we got the release of Cosmos coming right around the corner. Tomorrow and the next day, both big events. Tomorrow, we're going to have um, Pancake Liquidity start coming in. And the next day, you're going to be able to start farming. So tomorrow, you'll be able to swap for Mars. The next day, you'll st start to be able to get your rewards. And to get everybody prepared, I wanted to make sure everyone was comfortable with the features involved. I had already made a video on the boost feature, so if you're still confused on how that works, go ahead and watch that video. Um, there's also some infographics in the Mars Telegram that should also help to clear things up. Um, the other feature I think it's even easier to explain is the I feel lucky feature. And that I will show you right now. The other thing is side topic, we gotta figure out a name for us, for Cosmo investors, because I think Cosmonauts is taken, isn't it? Cosmonaut is like what comes to mind first of all, because that's like the best best one. But I feel like that's taken, or I don't know if that's just a general general term people have been using for like going to the moon with crypto. Either way, hey, it's a free world. Let's take the name. Let's go. <laughs> We're Cosmonauts now. <laughs> all right. Anyways, I want to show you guys this. Um, they make it really simple, honestly. On on their website to figure out how this um, how this works so basically if you go to the farms which is where this um, I feel lucky stuff is gonna be the functionality is gonna take place and actually let's see it's, it's in the pools and the farms so the pools and the farms both have this feature and the easiest way to figure out how it works is through the documentations now you can see if you're at the farm or the pool on the web page you can see right here it says lucky chance slash fee so let me zoom in on that a little bit so you have a 40 percent chance of getting lucky and you have a 25 percent fee that's going to be assigned regardless as if you win or not so let's click on this that's going to bring you straight to the docs and that's why i say they make it this easy all you got to do is, if, you, if you're confused, hit the question mark, and then you can come to the I feel lucky, or hopefully this video will help too. So what, what basically is happening with the I feel lucky? So when you have your farm and you're getting your rewards, there's the harvest lockup period. So generally, like two hours. Um, what's crazy is, let's actually look at it. So yeah, it says two hours. You have a two-hour harvest lockup period. For these pools, you have an eight-hour, and I'm saying that's pretty standard for a lot of farms. There's different reasons why they implement those, but we're seeing that basically as a standard being applied now to farms. Not every farm has that lockup, but um, it's becoming very common. So, what is Mars trying to do? They're trying to gamify this their their product. They're trying to make it fun, and they're trying to create new features. And other people might start copying these features. I bet you eventually they will, especially if Cosmos is lucky so, or not lucky. Sorry, if they're successful. So what is I feel lucky when you have your harvest and you you can't harvest it yet. Right. So you're still pending. You're still in that harvest lockup. Let's say you have an hour and a half out of those two hours that are still um, you still have to wait that hour and a half. But for whatever reason, you want to harvest right now. A couple re reasons I can think of off the top of my head. Um, you can basically you can compound faster. So when it comes to compounding, as long as you're not, as long as you have a substantial amount to compound and it's not less than gas fees and stuff like that, you want to compound as soon as possible. So I could be wrong about that, but that's, that's how I see it. When it comes to compounding, if you have the funds, you want to compound as much as you can because you're going to immediately start making rewards off that compound. So um, somebody could maybe tell me why I'm wrong about that, but I think I'm correct. And so what this lucky chance does, it gives you, basically you're taking a dice roll. You're taking a roll to see if you can compound um, early and get those rewards going early. Now, that's not the only thing. You don't have to compound. I'm just saying that could be a strategy that you implement with this feature. You could just want to, like, let's say you want to bail out. You want to dip out of Cosmos and you don't want to wait two hours, you don't want to wait eight hours, well, you could try to get lucky and bail out early, 
that doesn't seem like the world's best strategy, but I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you guys what the possibilities are. So how does this um how does this work? So here the example they give you is a 50/50 lucky chance and fee association ratio. So what would be interesting is to see like how do they get these numbers? How do you you know what what is what what is dictating what the the chance is and what the fee is? What are all the variables? That's something I don't think is covered. So that would be like if you wanted to read the smart contracts, you could figure that out. You, you should be able to. Or if you wanted to ask the dev team, they could tell you what numbers are going into this, what factors are going into this. But on the on the surface level, what it is is basically you can take your 50% chance to harvest your pending rewards, rewards early, but at the cost of the fee. Now, whether you get lucky or not, you're going to pay the fee. And it says right here, those fees are burned automatically. So similar to the, um, the boost function, what happens to these tokens on the fee side is they get burned. So that's good for the project and that's good for the other investors. So when you do these lucky fees and you do these boosts, um, whether you win the lucky fee or not, the fee portion of that is going to be burned which is going to be good for all holders. So the more people that participate in this is going to be good for the ecosystem. And at the same time, they give you that possibility of, of you winning as well. So you getting with, when it comes to lucky fees, that early harvest or with the boost, you get future, um, a future, a future addition to your rewards in your next harvests. So it's, they're playing with risk and reward. And that's the gamification of all this. So hopefully that um, explains it. I'm, I'm going to run through one more time. It's just you can take the chance of harvesting early by paying a, a, a fee, which that fee is automatically burned. So by burning your coins and creating that positive um, effect in the ecosystem you get a chance to harvest early now what you do with your harvest when you harvest early that's up to you so for you what you want to decide is is it worth it is there some sort of strategy I can implement and even if I don't get lucky or even if I do at least those coins were burned and it's gonna help the system out of course they were your tokens so you're not gonna be like super happy about that but a burn is a burn so you're helping other people um the other thing is the boosted rewards won't be charged as lucky fees so you can boost and get lucky you can intertwine these um strategies so what i would recommend is just thinking this stuff over seeing how it may or may not benefit you um if you do or do not want to use these strategies i'm thinking the best i feel lucky uh, that's not my type of strategy i might test it out just to see like what happens um and use the feature i always recommend using the features of the product that you invest in just to make sure everything works correctly even if you're not gonna like always try to feel lucky like do it one time on a small amount make sure everything works um and then as far as the boost goes if I were to boost, because I want you guys to make up your own strategies, um, we can make a whole video on strategies, and I, I guess I will, but if you are going to boost, I would boost early because the boosting stacks. You can stack your boost, so the earlier you boost, it's going to apply for the future. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say when it comes to some of the features that are coming out, specifically the I Feel Lucky when it comes to Cosmos. Um, like I said, tomorrow, Thursday, May 27th and May 28th are going to be big days for Cosmos. So you guys should be thinking about it now, thinking about what you want to do. Um, I highly recommend just watching. Just watch and see what happens. Join the social medias. You don't have to invest. You don't have. You can, you can. You can or you can't. That's up to you. Um, 
I would recommend just kind of keeping an eye on things. I would recommend keeping an eye on the entire uh, entire market, you know, and not even just crypto. But obviously, when you keep a general view of every, everything, you're going to find specifics that you want to watch even more closely. And this is a project that I decided to watch a little closer. Um, yeah, so join the social medias. See what this is about. It's going to be released tomorrow at the very least it'll be very interesting to see how this project how the markets react to the mars token so i would recommend watching and learning learn like even if you're invested or not you, sh you should be able to learn so many things when a new project project is released so i'll keep your eyes on cosmos there's going to be a lot to see and a lot to learn appreciate you guys have a good one